Well, the presidential race is in Wisconsin as Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton prepare to go head to head tonight in another debate. Sanders is coming off a win in New Hampshire, but Hillary Clinton got a big endorsement today from the Congressional Black Caucus. John Nichols, Cap Times associate editor and writer for The Nation, joins us live from Milwaukee. John, good to see you. Hi, John. It's great to see you. I'm glad to be with you. What are you expecting tonight? Well, I am expecting a debate that has a real strong underlying tension. And that tension is rooted in the fact that an insurgent candidate, Bernie Sanders, has polled uh, very close to the front runner. The earlier debates uh, sort of had a different dynamic because Hillary Clinton was so far in front that I, I think there was a relative comfort level. As this debate, as this race has gotten closer, and now we've seen both candidates kind of upping their game. So I think there will be clashes tonight. I'm, I'm certain of that. Uh, but I don't think it will have quite the intensity that you've seen, say, in the last Republican debate. Because one thing you have to remember, both of these candidates are going to be on this stage, on stages like this, probably for the next couple months. So I don't think they'll go all in at this point. So it's not a do or die situation for either candidate. Well, I think it's important for Hillary Clinton, and there's a reason for that. Hillary Clinton had a real setback in New Hampshire. Her finish was much weaker than she wanted and much weaker than I think a lot of uh, analysts expected. So you're going to see her come on strong. I don't think it will be a pure attack on Bernie Sanders. I don't expect that. But I expect she will really work hard to show her strength in this debate and uh, to get people to look anew at her in a positive sense. And as far as Bernie Sanders is concerned, he has been reluctant to attack Hillary Clinton. He uh, has been reluctant to bring up things like the email scandal. Do you expect a different tone from him tonight? Uh, perhaps a little bit more intense, uh, but I still do not expect a direct hit on Hillary Clinton where he would go and talk about the emails or talk about some of those other issues. My sense is that he'll focus on the core economic criticisms and also the criticisms of money and politics. Now a lot of people will see that as an implicit criticism of Hillary Clinton because she's raised more money from the big donors from some of the Wall Street folks and they may clash on that but again I don't expect to see it you know a direct hard hit from Bernie Sanders on Hillary Clinton. You know, a year ago, this was considered a coronation for Clinton. What happened? Ha ha. You know what happened It was that I think people became more and more conscious of uh, an economic volatility. You know, we often hear uh, on the national news and sometimes, you know, from all the, the power players, this discussion about how good the economy is, how it's coming up. But the fact of the matter is that as I've gone across this country, I've heard an awful lot of people who are still hurting, who are really uncomfortable, and who are frankly a little uncertain about the future, particularly when we see what's happening with the stock market. So I think that's created an opening for Bernie Sanders, who's delivered this very, very strong critique. And you've actually seen a big change in the whole race. Now both Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton are sounding like economic populists. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's a lot at stake, or if there's anything at stake in the debate tonight, or do you think people are getting a little debate fatigue by this point? <laughs> well, that is a superb question because debate fatigue can come on even though the Democrats haven't had that many debates the Republicans have had a lot and they literally fall almost one after another but what I would suggest to you is that a lot can come out of this debate for an odd reason and that is this is the last debate before Nevada before South Carolina and before those initial Super Tuesday or that March 1 primaries. And so for the Democrats, this is a real scene setter for the next several weeks. Uh, if one of these candidates comes on really strong, I, I think that's going to be beneficial to them. On the other hand, if, uh, if it just, you know, is a where one of those debates where Sanders supporters say Sanders did good, Clinton supporters say Clinton did good, then we, then we proceed from where we're at. But remember, this debate is going to be the first debate for a lot of viewers where they're looking at Bernie Sanders as a serious contender. And so for him, if he does well tonight, that could be very beneficial. Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump as the, well, Bernie Sanders not in the lead yet, but no one saw this coming. No.
No, people really did not see this one coming. And, uh, you know, look, I've, I've covered a lot of politics for a long time. And one of the, the lessons of 2016, which I think we can now say is, is clear, is that this is a year where people are desperately looking for alternatives to politics as usual. And so in both the Republican and the Democratic parties, we're seeing a very different race than anyone expected. If we'd been talking a year ago, we would have been talking about the virtual certainty of a Jeb Bush versus Hillary Clinton uh, final election. Now, uh, we're not talking about that at all on the Republican side. And increasingly, I think on the Democratic side, while Hillary Clinton is still clearly the front runner, uh, we're hearing much more discussion about a volatility in that race that uh, at the very least means that it's going to go on uh, all the way to Wisconsin on April 5th. Oh. And I think probably even beyond then. We will all be watching tonight. John Nichols reporting for us live from Milwaukee. Thanks for being with us. Thanks today. for joining us, John. Good to talk to you. It's, it's always good to be with you folks. Thanks so much.